another world championship opportunity. Here is the former world champion Cornelius Boza Edwards, the Ugandan refugee now living in England. And here on CBS, you saw him lose that crown after winning it from Bazooka Limon. He was in Via Reggio, Italy and lost it to Rolando Navarrete in August of last year. A stunning fifth round knockout by a substitute, Rolando Navarrete, who now still holds the WBC crown. His opponent today, Johnny Verderosa, an unbeaten youngster from Staten Island, New York, with 15 knockouts in 22 outings. He has never lost, and he has amazing punching power, as you'll see in this USBA title bout in which he won the crown against Robert Mullins with that big right hand and a first-round knockout. It figures to be an action-packed fight, Brent, a 10-round crowd at the Playboy Hotel. Many of them are fans of Johnny the Heat Verderosa from Staten Island, New York. Boxing people love this match. Up, two exciting fighters, a very important fight for each of them. A former world champion, the current U.S. champion, ranked number six in the world by the WBC. Cornelius Boza Edwards, who won the title from Bazooka Limon of Mexico and then lost it in a stunning upset here on CBS after he had won this fight against Bazooka Limon in March of 81. After a successful defense, he is upset here in Via Reggio, Italy, by a substitute, Rolando Navarrete, from the Philippines with a stunning fifth-round knockout. On the comeback trail, he has now won three fights, including this fourth-round knockout of Carlos Hernandez of Spain for the European crown. And Boza Edwards believes he has learned from his title loss. He is very much ready to try for it one more time. We've gone back in the gymnasium, back to the drawing board, and we've uh, corrected a few mistakes, and I'm tougher than ever. So uh, watch out, it's going to be a terrific fight. But he must get by the number six ranked Johnny the Heat Verderosa from Staten Island, New York. Unbeaten in 22 fights, 15 knockouts along the way. And he defeated Diablito Valdez in his most recent outing. He had Valdez, a tough competitor, on the floor during that fight. Went on to win a 12-round decision in defense of his USBA crown. Verderosa knows the importance of today's fight. Well, they promised me a title shot after I beat Boza. Not if, after. Um, so the whole future of my boxing and people connected to me is at stake in this fight. So I'm going to fight a real serious, dedicated fight. All right, with us as usual on our boxing coverage is Gil Clancy. And Gil, certainly a lot of excitement. As I mentioned, the boxing people love this matchup. We've got two hard-punching, exciting fighters. Yeah, Edwards has a lot going for him, Tim. He's by far the more experienced fighter. He's a better mechanic. He's a southpaw. But he's had a lot of tough fights, and he has to contend with the heat. And the heat is Johnny Verderoso. He's a kid with a lot of talent, but he does it very unorthodox. Sometimes he boxes, sometimes he moves, sometimes he becomes a club fighter. And sometimes he does it all in one round. You just don't know what's going to happen. All right, he is ranked number six by the WBC, and he is fighting the former champion, Cornelius Boza Edwards. And we're ready. Live in Atlantic City, where this afternoon, Shaka Boxing Promotion, Nancy Shaka, promoter, in association with the Playboy Hotel, take pleasure in bringing you the main event. In this corner, in the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with black stripe, he weighed in at 131 and three quarter pounds. He's from London, England. His career record, 33 wins, three losses, 29 knockouts. Here he is, Cornelius Boza Edwards. And in the red corner, wearing gold, with fire red stripes, he weighed in at 132 pounds. His career record, 22 wins, no losses, 15 knockouts. Here is John the Heat Ferrosa. 10 rounds. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape here. Boza Edwards, 25 years of age, Verderosa, 24. Boza Edwards, the taller fighter, will have that advantage and uh, accordingly uh, also, of course, a longer reach. 71 inches to 65. He weighed in at 131 and three quarters. Verderosa at 132. The limit set for this fight was 131, give or take a pound. So these two young men in what is very much the most important fight of their career. Verderosa in the Right, yellow trunks with red trim, the former champion, Boza Edwards, now living in London, from Kampala, Uganda, and white trunks with black trim. 31-3-0, the record for Boza Edwards, 25 knockouts, Verderosa, 22-0, unbeaten with 15 KOs. From Staten Island, New York, he has been Mr. Excitement.
fighting primarily in the state of New York and a few times here in the state of New Jersey. Big right hand landed in the ear of Rosa Edwards and the heat opening with plenty of heat. When you watch Johnny Bernardos, you just don't know what he's going to do. He's got a very, very unorthodox style, but he's very supple. He's a, he's a good athlete, and he, he just does all sorts of things. Very, very hard to figure out. Rosa Edwards, the new European champion, ranked number two by the World Boxing Council. Bernardos, the USBA champion, ranked number six by the WBC, and even higher by the rival WBA, where he is rated number two in the world. So he deserves to be here, and indeed, a victory would put him in line for a title opportunity. The referee is Larry Hazard. He will figure in the scoring with two judges at ringside, Harold Letterman and Paul Cavalier, both appointed by the New Jersey Commission. Bertorosa has been very busy early in this first round. Timmy's throwing heavy punches. He's very, very relaxed. So when a punch lands, it's really got all of his body behind it. Rosa Edwards has had three world title fights. Won it from Lamone, defended against Bobby Chacon, and lost it to Navarrete. Here's a matchup, Tim, with a purist. Edwards is a purist. He stands right up there, keeps his elbows in. Beautiful boxing position against a kid who moves his head, changes his position, puts one foot in front of the other, then the other one. It's, it's just quite a matchup. Watching Bertarossa in the gym, we saw some of his uh, outstanding athletic ability, that exercise with a heavy bag where he ducks under the bag, which uh, would be about a foot and a half off the ground. Pretty impressive exercise. Well, Tim, at his size, five foot five, he was a quarterback on Curtis High School's football team. Under a minute to go, round one. The Heat, with many of his fans coming down from Staten Island to support him here today. Cornelius goes Edwards, his wife Ramiko at ringside, and his stepfather, Jack Edwards, from whom he got the second half of his name. He was Cornelius Boza in Uganda. Brought to England when Idi Amin came into Uganda. Jack Edwards brought him over to London, and that's where he's been a resident since. Under 30 seconds to go. First round. Rosa Edwards missing with that left. And Rosa Rosa missing with a wild right. What a finish to round one. They're toe to toe in the middle of the ring. Number two of a scheduled 10 rounder at 130 pounds. Johnny Verderosa on the right of your screen. He is the USBA junior lightweight champion. Rosa Edwards on the right of your screen now, the former WBC super featherweight champion, and those weights are the same. WBC calls it super featherweight. WBA calls it junior lightweight. All the same, 130 pounds. Verderosa has been the busier of the two. That is not unexpected. Rose Edwards says he's learned a little defense from his loss to Navarrete. He'd like to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but Becky Depp's manager says he's now a little more defense-oriented, and he'll need to be against Verderosa. You don't know where to put your defense against Verderosa. You don't know whether you're fighting a south core or north core or what. They come from all over. That came off a solid straight left hand from Boza Edwards right to the mush but Verderosa was throwing punches right off the scoring blow from Boza Edwards it's, it's Edwards steadiness against the explosiveness of Verderosa good solid right jab from Boza Edwards to the head of Verderosa not moving his head as much as he did in round one and he's paying for it here You will not see either fighter back up in this fight as long as it goes. Combination landed from Boza Edwards, and then Verderosa lands a right hand. Tim Verderosa's style makes him expend a lot of energy, too. I don't know how good his stamina will be if the fight goes into the late round. Well, he's had 15 knockouts in 22 fights, so he hasn't had to go the distance very often. Did go 12 in his last outing. Got, uh, finally winning a decision, split decision over Julio Diablito Valdez. Under a minute to go, round two. Long left hand landed from Boza Edwards. And landed a good body blow. Bruno Rosa just smiled at him and came back with a combination. Right hand scored by Boza Edwards. 
thing is, Edwards is not getting flustered by this unusual style of Verderosa. He's staying right there for our proper punches. In the second round, under 30 seconds to go, and it has been non-stop. Straight right hand by Verderosa landed. Goes Edwards missed with his right. Approaching the end of the second round, a furious pace has been set by these two sluggers. Big right hand by Verderosa. Round number three, Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy for this 10-round super featherweight bout. Johnny Verderosa from Staten Island in yellow. The former world champion, Cornelius Boza Edwards in white. Verderosa coming out with the heat. That's his nickname. He gave it to himself. Now, he, now he's the club fighting for Rosa. They must have told him to stay right on top of Boza Edwards because that's what he's done from the opening bell. He's right there now, Tim. He is trained by Chango Diaz from Cuba. Manager is Frank Shaka. Oh, a good left hand by Verde Rosa. They just clashed that stuff. He's staying right in there. He's keeping his forehead right on Boza Edwards' chest. But what a pace. An unbelievable pace for round three. A good combination landed by both Edwards. We've seen him go toe-to-toe -to 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 against the likes of Kazuka Lamone and Bobby Chacon. He, with Alexis Arguello. He can get into these and stand there and bang with anybody. But, of course, he was stopped in a fight like this by Rolando Navarrete and lost his world title. Roda Rosa just landed another combination before the break. Good right hand from Jose Edwards. Edwards is doing things much more correctly than Puerto Rosa. He's throwing short punches, proper punches. He got him hurt. It was a left hand that staggered Puerto Rosa, and he walks into another left hand. Jose Edwards, this hurt down. Leading Puerto Rosa. Battery from Jose Edwards here in the third round. And he is up at the count. Larry Hazard, the referee, looks him in the eye, says he's all right. A, a big left hand by Boza Edwards. Gerda Rosa takes all hurt. kinds of punishment. Left hand sends him into the ropes again. And that's it. It's all over. Cornelius Boza Edwards with a third round knockout of unbeaten Johnny Gerda Rosa, who took tremendous punishment in that round. And Boza Edwards did a complete slip after the referee stopped the fight. And he is a happy young man standing on the ring rope. He told us that all he's been thinking about since the loss of Navarrete was another chance at the world championship. And he has no doubt earned it with this impressive knockout win. Well, we thought all the tough fights that Edwards had may have taken something out of him, Tim. But I think today he looked better to me than he's ever looked. And don't forget, he was a champion before. He said he had learned a lot from his experience against Navarrete and three quick knockouts he has scored since that time. There's his manager, Mickey Duff, and next to him on the right, Al Braverman, who worked in the corner today. And Mickey Duff, obviously a very happy man. He had said that Boza Edwards uh, was much more willing to learn. Maybe he had been a little overconfident against Navarrete, but he was confident that his fighter could come back to win the world title again. For unbeaten Johnny Verderosa, he ran into a buzzsaw much the same style as himself, but as you pointed out, Gil, a more contained and controlled buzzsaw. Bose Edwards standing there picking his shots, and boy, he picked him in round three. Yes, he said, hey, there, he just saw that left hand uppercut them straight punches, correct punches. That was the difference in the fight between uh, Edwards and Verderosa today. He was throwing his beating Verderosa to, to the punch, punching inside Verderosa's wide punches. Now, there was a wide one by Johnny Verderosa that landed, but you land one, and then the next three times, the guy beats you to the punch, and it really takes it all out of you. Cornelius Bose Edwards just appeared to be very calm, cool, and collected, despite the very aggressive attack well, from the opening bell. See those elbows inside, Tim? Look, he's, he's protecting himself and throwing short punches. See those elbows in? He's protecting himself. That's what you have to do. And Johnny was throwing wide punches and getting nailed minute, by those short punches. It was that left hand from Bose Edwards that really Boza wobbled him. Edwards. And then he just drilled him, literally, into the ropes. And Larry Hazard... After the first knockdown, elected to stop it when he was knocked down the second time. There's that big left hand, and then a right and another left, and a right uppercut. The powerful right hand of the left-handed Cornelius Boza Edwards. But how coolly Edwards did it. He never, he never lost control of himself. Every punch was a picture-perfect punch. 
Well, an impressive show by the former WBC world champion, currently ranked number two by the WBC, and expecting that he will be, of course, challenging for that crown again. But ahead of that, Navarrete will be defending against Bazooka Limon, the other former champion, and that fight coming up soon on CBS Sports. So we're going to come back and talk with Cornelius Boza Edwards. All right, Cornelius Boza Edwards, uh, certainly an impressive uh, performance by you today. A third round knockout against a very tough young guy. Came at you like a windmill, but you seem very cool and collected. Right. Uh, I wanted to give Vedros a hard fight. The hardest fight he's ever had since uh, Itam Pro. And he's had uh, 22 uh, wins, a lot of knockouts. And I would say to uh, show him that the, the guys in the top ranks can be devastating. You know? Well, you weren't, in other words, uh, you weren't too concerned about his knockout record. No, I wasn't concerned at all. And he has a lot of tricks, but I knew I could find his head. And I just kept on pressuring on his head. He's a little bit hard to hit, at least he was in the first round, because he comes at you from all angles and he right. was moving his head well. But it seemed like you slowed him down. I slowed him down because he wanted to uh, fight. And that's where I was better than him, uh, with uppercuts. And uh, I was going to stick to uppercuts all night. Well, it sure worked for you. We're going to show you those uh, uh, blows from the third round action. And uh, we'll, if we can move that monitor up here, we'll get a look at uh, the, the videotape of the third round. There you are as you back him into the ropes. And, well, we just lost the picture here. But, uh, Corny, in, that, in the third round, it seemed that... Uh, uh, he wasn't moving quite as well as he had in the first two rounds, and you were really measuring him. Yeah, I was measuring him uh, because I didn't want to miss him. I knew that uh, his head was easy to hit. It was either to cut him up or knock him out. Well, nonetheless, the, uh, the, the fact is that you were ready to stand there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, which is something that uh, you like to do, but were you more conscious of defense today? Yeah, I was tacking up, and uh, as my manager, Mickey Duff, said, you got to keep your hands up because this guy can hit. And I was prepared to keep the hands up and make sure I was uh, hitting him hard at the same time. I'm sure we're going to be hearing more from Johnny Verderosa despite this one loss. He's a youngster who's had a very impressive record. But I guess right now there's nobody else on your mind except a young man from the Philippines by the name of Navarrete. That's right. He did the same thing to me, and uh, I'm prepared to go back again and regain my world title. Do you think he'll beat Lamont? What's your opinion of that fight? Well, Lamont is a tough guy, and I remember you saw me win the title from Lamont. So I can't predict. I don't know what the guys are doing, but... Uh, You'll take either one, though, on a title I'll fight. Take, I'll take okay. either one of them. All right, congratulations to you, Cornelius Bose Edwards.